I have a hearing loss, so I understand how frustrating it is to struggle with communication on a daily basis. With my experience of working in care homes, you see these um, residents, there's nothing wrong with their brains, there's nothing wrong with their physical, physical ability to communicate with others. All that's happening is they've got some wax in their ears and they are struggling to hear. That then leads to social isolation, so they can't chat with each other, they struggle to understand what the staff are telling them, and when their uh, relatives come to visit, they just sit there and nod. And so instead of coming into a care home where you've got 40 or 50 residents all sitting in comfortable chairs, sleeping, and it's half, half 11 in the morning, they shouldn't be sleeping, they should be engaging act with activities, they should be chatting with each other, you know, living life. They're not, they're just wasting away, that's totally unfair. If we have a home where people are able to hear, the ears are nice and clean, they've got proper hearing aids or whatever, if they need them, then the difference is remarkable, absolutely amazing. When I had the opportunity to, to do my construction myself, um, I emailed the company and I said, uh, can you let me know what do I need to do? What kind of experience do I have to have? Do I have to have any certain qualifications? So on and so forth. I had a little chat with the, uh, the person who responded. And fortunately, because I already had the experience of having to have to use an otoscope and all the work I've been doing with care homes and hearing loss, um, I was able to come onto the training course. So there was uh, online training and then an in-person course with Jamie, who is awesome. And then we had the equipment and then it was about um, a few days of, of practice using lots of uh, friends and family. So thank you very much for that. And then I got signed off with uh, Ansel when she came to visit one of my clinics. And oh, I'll tell you, that was so good. But I have to say one other thing is that um, it is a new equipment, it is learning new skills, but support that I've received, either verbally or for email, whatever, has also been really good every step of the way. I'm not sure if I can say one thing. There's a couple of little bits and pieces that would overall make it so good. The fact that the screen is so big, that I can, I can take a picture, zoom in. When you're using an otoscope, you're in somebody's ear, so they can only tolerate for that for a very short period of time. So to be able to take a video or a picture and then take it out of the ear and take your time to look at it, that's also really good. And I like the fact that I can then also send this to an ENT specialist, get a second opinion, which has been of great help on several occasions now. The second thing is it's very portable. Uh, my business is focused on domiciliary. I go to people's homes like this one or, or care homes and so on and so forth. Because it's so portable, it means that um, I can travel on public transport. I can go anywhere and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, it's just really, really simple to use. I like the fact that uh, when I come into a place, I'm not overwhelming a space with lots of equipment. If it was the traditional piece of equipment, I couldn't do that. So yeah, it's a great system, I absolutely love it. I have some several plans for the future. Um, so since April, I've been doing just domiciliary and, and care home. I'm at the point where I'm, fingers crossed, I'm gonna be able to open up my own branch, hopefully by the end of the year. Uh, it's very scary, uh, but very exciting at the same time. So that the business is getting to the point where I can start to employ somebody else, which means I can double the number of people I can see. Um, and yeah, that can be very exciting. And then the plan is, in addition to that, um, because I've got lots of experience working with hearing aids, uh, I'm hoping to also offer hearing aid maintenance. It's nothing to do with the micro selection side of things, but um, because of COVID, a lot of all, of, all hospitals shut down their clinics. So if you have a problem with your hearing aid, you now have, have to post your hearing aid to the hospital wait for it to be repaired and then send back. So that's a couple of weeks without being able to hear. So for the, the charity that I work with, we set up a, a clinic and it's been really, really successful. So I'd like to do something very similar. So it's not just about earning money, but it's about uh, finding lots of different ways to help people look after their ears, look after their hearing aids, get the help they need.